we are in the process of actually bringing alive a completely differentiated customer experience and a uniquely pleasing customer experience. And NAC, the, what we have shown you today with our NAC is a, is a step in that journey. Uh, the fact that we are able to look at both IT and network systems holistically and, and, and replicate and simulate uh, transactions and customer experience gives us unique capabilities to actually fix problems uh, which may be you know, one part of the uh, uh, network may be affecting something in the IT systems or vice versa. We are able to look at it holistically and fix it and, 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 and guarantee a, a much better customer experience. So that is something that uh, we are very proud of and we, uh, we believe that we are leading the world in. What are some of the benefits to uh, Vodafone and the consumer? So the, for the consumer, I think it, uh, it will give a higher degree of confidence when Vodafone promises a certain amount of performance out of their uh, networks and systems. That, that, is, that is something they can count on because it's backed up by the capabilities and the people and the processes and, and, and the money to actually uh, make, it, make it come alive. Uh, it is not just an empty promise. We are investing and we are putting our, uh, our money where our mouth is. Uh, to make sure that we can deliver a better experience relative to any other competitors in, in the marketplace. What are some of the benefits uh, you know uh, you r derive from this kind of uh, you know uh, network? So one of the benefits is, for example, proactive response to problems. So there are times when we can see a, a problem building up in our networks or our systems. Uh, the transactions start to slow down or the performance uh, uh, degrades, but this is is before it's actually reached a breaking point. Well, we are able to actually get in there and fix the problem before it becomes a breakage and it really affects the customer uh, experience, customer service. So that's one capability that we can proactively fix things. Second thing is that uh, the customers are uh, sometimes helped with the systems that we have and the logic that we have. So they may have a problem with their device for example, because it's wrongly configured, the settings aren't right. But we are able to detect some of those problems and proactively go in and go into our CRM systems and then initiate uh, a process to rectify customer problems. So we minimize and avoid many of the problems that they would have otherwise uh, uh, faced. The third thing is just the, reliable, the basic reliability of our network. Our network runs in a, you know, with a much better uptime than pretty much uh, our competitors uh, because we have these kind of capabilities and intelligence built in. So our network is very capable of handling uh, all kinds of calamities as well as uh, events and the traffic surges uh, uh, relative to the other operators in the country. Vodafone is spending heavily in you know, mobile data networks. What are some of the technology focus areas this year? So the, uh, the focus has been on the, uh, on the data side. Uh, we've invested tremendously in adding capacity to handle the data traffic surge. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we, have, we are the largest uh, opco within Vodafone by data volumes. And we've been able to handle it uh, relatively gracefully, even despite having only one single carrier 3G spectrum, uh, which is one, one third of what uh, you know, most other countries have. Uh, we've been able to do that because we've invested heavily in adding capacity. The other thing is in the analytic space. We've added a lot of analytic capabilities, both on the IT side as well as the network side, which lets us mine a lot of the data and therefore more intelligently architect our networks and systems um, and, and get more out of each of the investment that we make as well as create new capabilities. And then the third thing is also future-proofing our network. So I spoke earlier about the 100G network. We've invested in it because we know that's the future. And that's what we require for our enterprise business, for our mobility business, and just the general growth in the data business. So we are investing sometimes even ahead of the curve to make sure that we can cope with the upcoming data tsunami. The last question, you know, you spoke about you know, some of your you know. Uh... Uh, network vendors including Ericsson, Huawei, Nokia, Converse, etc. What are the priority areas when you select a vendor or a technology? Uh, so we obviously look at the, uh, the, the, the features and functionality and the performance of their, uh, of their platforms. 
but beyond that, we also look at their uh, product roadmaps. So not only what they have today, but what they're planning to roll out in future. Uh, we, of course, look at the cost of their solution. So the methodology we have is uh, based on total cost of ownership. So it's not just the cost at the time of purchase, but over the life of the asset, how much is it going to cost? Because um, sometimes asset, you, know, you can buy something at a low price, but it's got a very high maintenance cost. So, so we look at the cost angle. We also look at uh, the financial stability of our vendors. We want to make sure we do business with uh, vendors that are going to be around long term. Uh, and then also we assess their capability to actually deliver against the promises that they make. So those would be some of the criteria we use to make those uh, decisions. Would you like to give a sum up about the uh, network center? Right. Yeah, so SNAC is a, is a capability that we built uh, that lets us truly differentiate our network uh, versus the competition. It actually puts a lot more intelligence into the way we do things. So it's not just about the kind of boxes you buy, but how well you manage it and how well you put it all together. Uh, we have demonstrated with our SNAC that we can do it uh, very innovatively in a, in a very world-class leading way. So we are very proud of that. And uh, yeah, our objective is to make sure that the customers feel very confident in our services when they purchase a Vodafone uh, service.